You want PQ parallel to AP, so it's not... Okay. I'm assuming that triangle is just like a generic triangle. Can we expect any message from Otis this week? I said, uh, like, say expect within a couple of weeks if I. Yeah. Okay, so M is the midpoint of AB, N is the midpoint of AC, and then P is like a point on this midline. And it's defined such that a certain condition is true. It's like, I want. Uh, that if I draw G1 is the circle of A, B, and P. And G2 is the circle of C and P. Then A, B, and P, Q should be parallel. So, well, well. <laughs> Why well, is it on the circle? Right, okay. So, okay, okay. Oh, well, I didn't input like the, I, I didn't input like the actual lengths. Like I just drew a generic triangle because I needed a picture. Yeah, so, okay. I, I see why you guys didn't want me to use Joji, but now because like <laughs> the intersection point is on the circle, which which is sort of like important. Uh. I'm sorry, uh... I agree it doesn't kill it, but it seems very, very good to know. Um, I mean, at this point, so, because directed angle BMQ, so BQC is directed angle BQP plus directed angle PQC equals directed angle Uh, BMP plus directed angle PNC, which turns out to just be directed angle BAC. Um, yeah, that'll tell you the points are concurrent. So that that happened, and now Isn't it just Mikhail? Yeah, yeah, it is also just Mikhail's theorem. That's that's fair. It's like Mikhail's theorem on triangle A and N. Okay, so if PQ is also parallel to AB, that means B and PQ is isosceles trapezoid. So like MP equals BQ is necessary and sufficient. Is that all I need? Oh. Uh, well, actually that doesn't look that great. Actually, no, you also just know which point Q, I see. So like, this angle B and P is like actually given in terms of angles. It's like a single B. So actually, um, like directed angle B, Q, P is equal to like, B, M, P is equal to like angle N, M, A, which is equal to angle, direct angle C, B, A, uh, so I believe that means that you want Q, P to pass through, if I let like A prime be the reflection of A across the perpendicular bisector, 
uh, BC. I believe that means you want like, uh, yeah, you you want like a prime PQ collinear is what this is saying. Yeah, and so yeah, I'm I'm trying to like not draw the Chiyoji bro because I I can kind of tell people it, it's giving away a lot. So I I'm only using the Chiyoji bro for the observation that Q is on the circle. But I think that means you want a prime PQ to be collinear, and that should do a lot for you, um, because now like well, well what do you do after this? Mm. It's like I wanted AP squared, right? So I just, I more or less, it's like saying determine where P is. Oh. Uh. I kind of want to not really think too much about the point Q because I think the point A prime is slightly better. Um. Eh, maybe I should. Oh, I found my stylus! It fell in through a crack in my- Oh lord, that's gonna be really hard to dislodge. Uh... Here, here... Oh my god. Ah, well... <laughs> too late now! <laughs> Yeah, see, see, the problem is, like, on my desk, it's actually, like, two parts. Like, if you look at my desk, it looks like this. And there's, like, a wedge here, and the stylus just fell in through here so I couldn't find it. It's very sad. Um. But yeah. It's... Oh, jeez, that is a long blob of text. What just happened? Is that, uh... Oh, I'm gonna. It's one of those. Shout out to Reagan Choi for winning Elmo from a sweaty boy, Asian boy. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, let, let me finish this up then. Oh, if, if I'm close to done. I don't know if I'm actually close to done. But if Q, P, A, Prime are collinear, then what, what does that get by me? Does that do anything? Because my goal is to like figure out, determine the location of P. At this point, I don't actually need either. Do I still need the circles? Can I like get rid of the circles somehow? I'm just gonna mark the point. Wow. That, that's not supposed to happen, right? Like, I just. The point I picked happens to just work. Like. Oh, wait, no, I'm just dumb. Sorry, it always passes through A. That That's even without the. I, uh... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, so I, I was like, the A-prime PQ collinear bit. I saw, for some reason, I thought this was what you got out of the parallel condition. But that makes no sense. It's not even... This is just always true. And so, for the problem, you specialized in the case where A-prime... Uh... Yeah, okay, so... A-M-P A-prime is a parallelogram. <laughs> In in the specific case, uh, 
Okay, so hence MP equals AI prime, you can calculate the value of AI prime by using like trigger or whatever, and then you can use Stewart's theorem to extract AP. Uh, I, I believe everything is nice. Uh, I, I totally believe you. Um, but, uh... A prime is 4? Okay, okay, I will... How about I will actually do the computation instead of just saying that it's easy. You know, we, we want to pretend we're being educational. So, um, the idea is that rather... You're right, rather than by calculating um, the length based on the... Trick. Well, use a to get a prime. I'm going to use Ptolemy's theorem, right? So Ptolemy means that a prime times 14 is equal to uh, plus the square of 13 is equal to 15 squared. So indeed, a prime equals four. So now, um, So that means MP equals 4. And so that means PN is equal to 3. Uh, whereas AM is equal to six, 13 halves. And AN is equal to uh, 15 halves. So yeah, I guess because it's such a nice triangle, it's better to- yeah, I agree. It's better to use Pythag than to use, um, whatever it's called, Stewart. So, we're gonna say AP squared is equal to the altitude, which is, um, the altitude is nominally 12, so it's like 6 squared. This is like half the main altitude, so I'll write half times 12. And because AA prime is 4, um, so MP was 4, but MN, oh, uh, it's, it's 5, right? 5 halves? Uh, okay, so it's like 4 for MP minus the length of the out, that, that little corner guy, which I think is 5 halves. And now we can find out if I make a calculation error at the end, because that's exactly the kind of thing I would do. Uh, 36 plus, uh, okay, so 4 minus 5 halves is 3 halves, which is 9 halves, and so, <laughs> this is 81 over 2, I hope. Did, did I mess up? No, I think I messed up. Uh, 6, 6, uh, oh, wait, that, that. <laughs> Okay, let's try that again. Uh, five halves. <laughs> Three half squared is nine halves, guys. All right, is that correct now? No, I mean, I, no, 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 no. It's it, you don't just change. The, oh my god, one fifty-three over four. Jesus. Uh. Evan, how's this for Siamese 15? It seems about right. I... Uh... Yeah, like... I think this is fair. Like, this, this feels like a JMO level Geo problem, which I think is about what Amy 15 historically goes up to. I do think this setup is quite nice. This is a good way to use the result, I think. Breaking the trend of Trivial 14. Is that a trend? Okay, so I believe 1990-13 was next.
Do I ever listen to classical music? Yes. Sometimes. Okay, so 